The image of Hardeep Singh Nijjar now adorns the Sikh temple he used to lead. At the back entrance to the Gurdwara, this yellow circle marks the spot where the father of two was murdered in June, allegedly by two gunmen connected to the Indian government. His friend was there that evening. Two people coming from their side and shoot him in, in 22nd. Mr. Tour says Mr. Nijjar was killed because of his support for Khalistan, an independent Sikh state to be carved out of India. Because he's the, like a big advocate of the Khalistan referendum. Uh, that's why. Last week, the Canadian Prime Minister said he believed India was behind the killing. Any involvement of a foreign government in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil is an unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. I'm shocked as a human being, as well as as a Canadian, as well as someone who worked in security intelligence for many years. It is, it is a bit of an outlier, but uh, it may also reflect where the Indian government is going. The events have also shaken the Sikh community in Surrey, where they make up a quarter of the population. The pain of it happening on Gurdwara grounds for many of our regional team members and for the local community was was quite profound, I think, and and uh, and it reverberated across the community. India accused Mr. Nijar of being a violent terrorist and had issued a warrant for his arrest, but it's called the accusations from Mr. Trudeau that they were behind the killing absurd. The Sikh community in Canada is not united in support of an independent Khalistan. A former Premier of British Columbia says Mr Trudeau should make a clear statement against the independence push. We, as the government of Canada, don't support the dismemberment of a friendly country. Now there's nothing wrong with saying that. That is not anti-freedom of expression. Back at Mr Nijar's former Gurdwara, there are hopes for success in the unofficial Khalistan referendum. The vote is being staged to drum up support in Sikh communities around the world, but it's a protest that India says is illegal and won't change anything. Carrington Clark, ABC News, Surrey, Canada.